Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Rohan house build from um, the Middle Earth strategy battle game, guys. And this is going to be showing you some of the basing, because last time we showed you how to paint it, um, now I'm going through how I based it. So what you'll need for basing is you'll need a bag of um, gritty sand, which we use with... I use this stuff, so I go relatively fine with that, just a really fine grain. Um, you're going to need some fluffies. I don't know what they call these, but they're just green bits of tufts that you can you know, get. Um, and you're also going to need some sort of a static grass or flocked grass. Now mine is a, um, I don't know if I can show you this, a bit of a mixture. Let's put that up there. Mine's a mixture. I like to buy two or three colors and put them all on together and just mix them up. And that way you get a good sort of gradient of different ones. This one that I've got in here is an autumn based one. Um, but you can get anything you like really. I like the autumn based one because it sort of can fit all times of the year. And I'm going to run through both the houses. So what I did for this bad boy, I based it on some of this stuff, which is just, um, what would you call that? Plyboard, I guess, something like that just thin MDF board um, and that's what the house was based on and I did that just so I could get a bit of extra uh, features in there so this is basically what the house is front to back nice wee flowers stuff like that and what I had in mind was Rohan field and also um, like where where these houses would be this is a farmhouse so it would be somewhere in the, the farming kind of area so what i did um put down the sand stuff you saw before i based it all with the black templar um contrast paint to give it the black dried brush that a uh, couple types of gray so i started with the stone and then worked up to that administrator gray that was enough. That's all you need to do for that. You don't need to linger too long. I did the path right to the door, and I did one out the back as well. This is just the farmhouse, so I didn't go too much detail. The fences I dry brushed from last time. Um, I added in a couple schist rocks. That's probably one other ingredient that's always good to have in your basing arsenal. Is um, oops, wrong one. Is a jar of rocks. So these are all actually um, from Central Otago. We're some of the Lord of the Rings were shot, so fitting to get those and put them on. I just, when I go to Central Otago, I just get a handful of them, nice and cheap, and um, put them in a box, and then they last forever. And the cool thing about them is that because that's the way that schist is, or schist rock is, um, it you can like snap it and um, make it whatever size you want. So I put those on, again dry brushed them, glued down the, the flock, or the static grass, and what I, my technique for that is plant it on, and um, turn it upside down, flip it, and then get like a like a heavy little something heavy, and just sort of tap it, and then reapply. Do that a couple of times. So that's basically house number one, uh, and it's easy as yes. easy peasy. It takes you five minutes. Some extras you can glue on some of these wee shrubs. Um, get a selection of little flowers, um, jot them around the place as well, and that is all done. Um, so that's house number one. The blacksmith workshop is a little bit different. Um, very similar techniques. So hand painted on, symbol on the top, uh, dry brush some of the extra features, um, grass on, no flowers on this one. You wouldn't have any flowers around a industrial workplace. Uh, and then there's a little forge. And if you can see inside there, uh, is, the, is the inside parts as well. So again, you'd probably have some little shrubs around. There's a log of woods there, which I still need to finish those off. Uh, and the gravel goes through from front to back. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This has been part two of the Rohan Terrain build. These are lovely kits. Um, I think these are these going forward that um, the Middle Earth strategy battle team is, is onto it with terrain, and these are very universal. You can make this for a Viking hut or or any kind of an ancient's kind of a hut. Um, what I would do is probably just chop those horses off and you've got yourself an ancient's hut. So that's really cool. Um, these have been great kits and I'm hopefully you've learned something about how to base and paint these. So um, stay tuned for more Middle Earth stuff and we will get back to you with another video for terrain soon. Thanks guys. Bye.